So let's hit record. Where's Melissa? She was just here a second ago and then she left. So she'll be right back, I assume. Let's see if she texted me. Email me a Zoom link. I don't have it and I can't register. Never mind, found it. LOL. That's her. I'll give her a call though. I'm sorry. Your reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Well, Melissa doesn't have a voicemail set up, so I cannot leave a message. But I'm sh I literally just talked to her like five minutes ago, so she's definitely ready to go. But uh, how is everyone doing today? We got, wow, we got Casey, we got Jung Soo, we got Maria. Who else we got? Wow, we got Georgiana. We got Leslie. Megan Snipes, that's a name. That sounds like a famous actress. Have you guys seen that latest movie with Megan Snipes? Simone, Simone. Is that who I think it is? Simone, Simone, are you who I think you are? Then we got Terry, we got Yvonne. We got Samar. I think Samar submitted some questions even. Simone, Simone, yes, I am. Oh, you are the one. Cool. We got to uh, we got to connect on a Zoom call. So, Simone, Simone, send me an email and we will set up a Zoom. But for everyone else, see here looks like we got 20, 27, 28 peeps. Hey, she made it. I made it. I made it. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, people, when I first came on, people were like, where's Melissa? Who's this? Who's this fraudster? Who's this fraudster who hijacked Melissa and now got us here? But no, she's she's here. And and I'm not holding her uh, hostage either. <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Guys, so good to see everyone. This is my favorite part. Let's, let's see what happens. Type a two in the chat if you're here because of Melissa. <laughs> Type a one in the chat if you're here because of me. We got a two, a two to do. Oh my God. One and two, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, two. Lisa, you, uh, looks like it's your party. Woo! Let's is there dance. anyone, is there anyone who's just a one? <laughs> Are there any just ones? I, oh, Jennifer, there we go. There we go. We got one. Yes. Perfect. Anif? Cool. Okay. we got a couple. Well, sweet. Well, uh, today will be a competition of who will disappoint the least. My bets are on Lissa. She will not disappoint. <laughs> so today we're going to get into how to rock and roll with Canva. Yes, Canva. Uh, first for us to teach this live. But uh, we're pretty good at it, aren't we, Lissa? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Canva, so this, this is my favorite app. Like We were mm -hmm. talking about this the other day. This is my absolute favorite app of all my apps aside from like the obvious instagram and youtube right but canva is my most favorite app to creating ebooks and infographics thumbnails for youtube you can even make your logo in there you can do all kinds of really cool stuff let's just uh actually pause for a moment and let everyone know like i see 90 percent of the comments coming in are are hidden because you guys got to change the setting to all panelists and attendees so make sure to change all those settings to all panelists and attendees in your chat. So that way everyone can, can see. Cause I, I see like, like 90% of the comments have come in already have been just hidden. I forgot to remind you. Oh, look at kitty cat. Oh, hello. Snack up on you. <laughs> this is Did, raw. Oh, this so, is so, so, so people like uh, Josh Vaughn and Megan Snipes, even B, you got to change your chat settings to all panelists and attendees. It's like the most, it's the worst part about Zoom, having to say this every single time, every time you come on Zoom. Zoom should definitely uh, fix that, but it's just the default and we can't change it right now. It's for security reasons. 
And they probably want you to keep six feet apart in the Zoom room. So they separate you <laughs> like that. Cool. So now that we can see everyone's comments, we are in for the win with Canva. Uh, so B, yeah, you got to change your chat settings. Hannah, what's up, Hannah? You got to change your chat settings to all panelists and attendees. That way everyone can see what you're saying. Okay. So today on the agenda, we're going to show you a lot of really cool things. You can show you how to master Canva so that you can make beautiful eBooks so you can make more sales. You can make beautiful thumbnails on YouTube so you can get more views. We're going to show you how to make a, a logo, a beautiful logo, so people take you more seriously. And uh, anything else? We're going to show you a bunch of other cool like tips and tricks. Graphics or stories. I, I was making a couple stories oh, yeah. before we got on here. Cool. So, And we're going to show you how to do this from scratch as well. Like from scratch. Okay. Yes. Look. Yep. That's right. So Lisa, do you want to uh, start off by sharing your screen? Yes, I would. Also, if you guys have any questions, which I know you do, I know Samar had some as well. Samar, post your questions, copy paste the ones you emailed me and paste them into the Q and A box in zoom. That way we can actually get to your questions. Okay. Post all your questions in the Q and A box. If you have any. So for those of you who don't know as well, the reason why we're teaching this is because what we do for a full-time living is we help vegans create eBooks, courses, and coaching programs. And we've been doing it for a while now. We thought we'd put on this free workshop to show you guys like some of the stuff that we, that we work on with our, with our students. And this is, this is a very popular one. So I thought we'd do a free workshop for you guys here today. But Lisa is like the queen of eBooks. She sells like 300 plus eBooks every month not to mention all her course sales and coaching sales. So she makes really good income. And a lot of it is thanks to the work that she does on, on Canva. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys see the burger book. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's there. We're, I'm working on it uh, right now, hoping to release that in April. Uh, so yeah, I guess we can just get started then. Hey, Ted. Unless Let's there's any get it. Cool. All right. So this is Canva. I have the paid version. So if there is anything that I show you guys that you're not able to do on the free version, then you can just get the paid version. It's, it's like a whopping, it's a whopping $12, isn't it? Yeah. Something like that. 13, 12 or 13 or something. It's so worth it. You get a lot more fonts. You get to use a lot more of the cool little stuff that they have. You get access to more templates. Uh, it's just overall beneficial. If you're using it for business purposes, it's also a write-off. So no big deal there, but we're going to start here. This is my, I have my designs, um, but you can always do, so you can look through some of the templates. They have lots of templates for video uh, documents, stories, and you can even scroll down here. They have a bunch of like Instagram square posts. So you can make your own infographics or quotes or what have you. There's, there's hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. So then you've got logos again here. You can look through some of the logos that they have as suggestions and you can change them up based on what you want for your logo. Posters, you can make posters, flyers. I was in here in Instagram stories. They have cool templates that you can do. I'll show you how to do one really quick. Um, and yeah, so there's infographics. You can fill these out, change the words, that kind of thing. But we're gonna be working on a really quick ebook. I just wanna show you guys how I use Canva to create an ebook. We're gonna do a two recipe ebook really quickly together. So what you want to do is you want to start by creating a design. So I like to choose whichever size I'm going to do. And let's say we want to do, uh, I don't know, it depends on what size you want to make your ebook. It can be any size whatsoever. The burger book itself is a square. So we're going to copy that. I'm going to click on custom size and I'm going to change to inches and I'm going to go 10 by 10 inches and create new design. This is just going to start you with first page uh, and you can start creating your cover page here. And then as you go, you can click add page and it, you can add as many up to 30 pages for the free version up to 100 pages with the uh, paid version. So free is up to 30, 
pages up to 100 pages. So we can start. Let's do um, a smoothie ebook. That should be pretty simple. Now, you can go online and look at different recipe book covers. You can go to the library and look at different recipe book covers and see what kind of a cover resonates with you because not everyone's going to like all of the uh, different covers that you can make. So you're, this is where you're going to get creative. You can go into the templates and look for recipe book and you can look through the different covers that are options in here. There's a bunch of different ones. What you would do is you would just click on whichever one it would be, and you can change the photo, change the words uh, to whatever you want. So that's an option if you really can't think of any other styles for your cover. But because we're doing this one from scratch, I'm going to go into elements and I'm gonna select a shape. I'm just gonna select a square. It shows up as black, but we can change the color. I'm just going to make the background. Let's make it, uh, can change the color. Let's do like a green, maybe like a light green, like that. So that's gonna be our background. And again, you can make it any color you want. You can do however you want. Um, then, let's add a photo. So you can use the photos that per, are provided by Canva, but I actually highly recommend that you use your own photographs for this if possible. So that's where you would go into uploads and you can click this purple button here and upload your own media. So your own pictures that you've taken of your own food. Uh, let's see, which one should we use here? Do you think I'm, we can do another workshop in the future on how to take epic food photos like that? <laughs> yes, I would love to do that. Hippo, one in the chat if you want a workshop on how to take epic food photos like those. <laughs> Got a few ones coming in. Okay. Oh, nice. look, everyone's pretty much wow. wanting it here. So let's use this photo. Um, this little circle down here, this is the tilt. So you can actually click on that and tilt the photo however you'd like it. And let's move it down here. Now, again, <laughs> You guys, you can do whatever your heart desires for how you want to pre uh, present your book. So we're going to do that. Um, let's call this the, actually, it's not really a smoothie picture. So I'm going to show you how to change the photo. So right now I've got a photo in there because I just dragged it over from there. I don't know if I have any smoothie pictures in here. We could do a, we could do a, a bowl, no. a bowl, bowl recipe book. Bowl recipe book. Okay. Let's do savory bowls. We'll call it savory bowls. So you can click on text and they have, again, they have options for different kinds of text if you want. And if you notice here how it says pro, I, because I'm Canva pro, because I pay Canva every month to use it, I would be able to use this baked fresh font if I wanted to. But if you don't want to do any of those, you can always just click add a heading It'll add a heading and you can change it to, let's title it um, Savory Bowls. And we'll change the font. Again, the, there's, like, there's like thousands of fonts and some of the fonts will have like a little crown beside them. Those again are from paid version. Uh, so let's choose, let's do this font right here. And I think I want to make it all capital. We'll do that. Now to change the font size, you can either highlight the text and change it here, or you can just click on the little circle in the corner and pull it. That's an easy way to change the font. Then in order to move it, you have to click off so that you can move. Sometimes you have to click off a few times and then you can move it. We'll put it up here like so. And now I would like to separate this a little bit. Uh, let's do um, another element and select another one of these shapes and let's change the color. The cool thing about Canva is once you put a photo into 
your page, it actually selects some of the top colors of your photograph. So you can select one of these that will work with the photograph. It'll be a little bit more branded. So let's move this up here. We can move this up like this and we can move the sides over like so. And because it's pretty dark, I want to change the opacity of this, which is another thing that you can do right up here. This is the transparency. You can actually pull that down if you want to make it a different color. I think I like it there. So savory bowls. The next thing you want is to add your author name. So you can go back to text and click add a subheading. And again, we're going to change the font to a different font. I like to have a different font than my title. And put your name. You don't need to put by because that's inferred, so not necessary. You changed the spelling of your last name? Wow. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> ah. All right, and we'll put that down here. First, you have to click off. Move that down. Oh, I'm going to have to change that. Introducing Melissa Mallory. <laughs> Oh, it selected my name. I sometimes it does that. You have to actually click off this X. Otherwise, it'll make it small font for some reason on my computer. So it's a little small. So again, you can click the little circle and pull to change the font size. Another really cool thing about Canva is that you can actually change the spacing of your name. So you just highlight it. Um, and then right here, the spacing, you can actually change how far the letters are. And if you have multiple lines, you can change how close the lines are together with this one. So there's a bunch of different options there. I think I'm going to make it wider. So there we go. And I also add a subheading. And I like how Canva will keep the fonts that you've used recently. So we'll choose this one again. And we'll add a subheading, we'll say raw vegan salads, oil free. And then we can just move that up here. There we go, we've got our cover. Now, if you guys wanted to embellish your cover a little bit, you can always go down to elements again, and you can search all different kinds of elements that you can embellish your page with. So let's look for salad. You can search for salad. And again, the pro version has a lot more options here, um, but you can put little gifts in, you can change the colors. Uh, let's see here. Let's do this one. So put that in there and I'll put it right here. I know it's covering, but I've got a little trick here. So you can actually change the position of the elements on your page. So if you change the position, you can actually send it to all the way to the back, which would put it behind the green, which we don't want that yet. So let's go backward and you can go backward as many times as you want. You can move it forward if you want. So I like it there. I also want to change the opacity. So it's kind of in the background there. And you can even change on some of them, not all of them, but on some of them, you can change the colors of the elements. So with this one, it's black and white. So let's change these to colors that work with our document here. There we go. And there we have a little bit of an element. You could even search. I like to search for leaf, leaf or leaves. You can have different leaves. Let's add this one. And again, you can change the color on many of them. And we'll put this one right here. Make it a little smaller, tilt it a little bit like so. There we go. Let's make it a little transparent. 
You could even highlight the picture and move it to the front so it covers that. So there we go. We made a cover for our ebook. <laughs> and again, you guys, you can even change. Maybe you want to change the background. Maybe you don't want it to have it green anymore. Maybe you want to do pink, right? So you can change different colors, different elements based on what you like. And I actually really like that. I'm like, I should make a book called Savory Bowls. <laughs> there we go. This is cre creation really should be about inspiration. Like when Lisa looks at this, she's like, wow, I should create a book called Savory Bowls. Why? Because I'm inspired. And she goes in the kitchen, starts taking pictures and uploads them. And it's just flow state, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Flow state. That was all flow. How much willpower did that require to make an ebook cover? <laughs> it was so easy. Guys, type a five in the chat if you think that's pretty dang easy and you could do that. Well, there we go. Megan thinks she can do it. Jennifer thinks she can do it. Casey thinks she can do it. Leslie thinks she can do it. Just Vant, Franive. So many ideas coming, right? Simone, Simone, for sure. Terry, Kira, Emmanuel, Mariella, Jung Su, right? Okay. So looks awesome. Super dope. So what's really cool is that Lissa will work on your ebook cover with you. Make sure it's like really, really good every single Monday if you're part of our academy, which we'll talk about at the very, very end. But just so you know, like if you want help with this on an ongoing basis, this is here for you every single Monday to help you with creating epic looking ebook covers and social media posts and all that stuff. So if you're into beauty and designing stuff like this, this is here for you every single Monday. So yeah. let's, let me, let me uh, share my screen now, Lisa. Okay. And I will show you guys how to, how I create a YouTube thumbnail. And Alyssa I can show how she creates her YouTube thumbnails. Okay. By the way, let me show you actually something else. Let me, let me, let me, uh, let me uh, take this to a different website even. Okay. There's a website called adazing.com. Mm. You go slash cover mocks. And what's super cool about this is let's say you create your book cover. And let's say your book cover looks like uh, this. Let's just say this is what your book cover looks like. You finish it up. Like this is how it looks. Now I got to say the dimensions list I use 10 by 10, it won't work for your, for using this website here, but that's fine because you can just take exactly the work Lisa just did copy, paste it over. In fact, Lisa, do you want to show them how to change the dimensions of what you just did? Um, that one, let me see here. So then that way they can create a 3d book cover. Yeah. So what I would do here, let me just, Good. uh, I would just create a new one and then copy paste it over. Yeah, I think here you can resize if you oh, click. Oh, that too. Right. Sweet. Yeah, so you can resize. Um, say we want to do eight wide by ten, or actually, classic book is I believe you could do five by eight. I think that's a classic book, um, but it creates a copy and Good. resizes it. There we go. So, so now you you you'd. Uh... You change that. So maybe you just drag the box exactly bigger. Or drag the box. You can um, move things around a little bit if you want. Nice. And that way you don't lose the original. So you can still use the original inside the book and everything. This is just for our 3D book cover that we're trying to make. Yeah. There we go. Sweet. So let's say hypothetically, this is what we wanted to, to work with. So now, Lisa, do you want to export this as a um, JPEG, PNG? PNG, yeah. So right up here, you would click download, and you would it's, it's suggesting PNG. But if you were going to save this as uh, an ebook, you would select PDF standard. Yeah, that's what you would do. But for this one, we're for the cover. You're creating a PNG, um, and we want page one. Page one and done. One and done. So we download that. Cool. So that's downloaded. So now we'll go to adazing.com forward slash cover mocks, cover dash mocks. Yes, two seconds. All right. So let's go. Ah. 
Valida. Bom. All righty. Uh, above, above. And then one, just pick one of those down below. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do classic, classic book. We'll do this one. And we'll choose the file, which we had just downloaded. Where is that? Here it is. There we go. <laughs> Bam. How cool is that, guys? Instant, done. Type a three if you're like, wow, now I have a 3D book cover. Type a three if you're stoked with that and you guys want your own 3D book cover. Because guess what? It's completely free. In fact, everything we just showed you is completely free. You can do all that on Canva for free. Let's, let's use her font. But if you do want to take it up a level and you want to spay, you want to get like 600 templates or something, how many templates is there, Alyssa? Oh, I don't know. I think there's like oh, six. There's over 600. 600. Exactly. 600 covers. Plus, so you get 600 different mock-up ideas like that for like 60 bucks or something. Uh, plus, if you're not happy within the first 30 days, you just cancel it. So that's that. Super, super cool. It sends it right to your email and you're done. And you can, you can use a bunch of the other cover mocks they have for free as well. But And they'll email this to you. If you yeah. want, you could also screenshot this too. Uh, on a Mac, it's shift command four and it creates this little target. And then you could just select that screenshot and then it saves to your wherever you have your screenshot saved to so that's an option too uh but they will email that to you as yeah. well so yeah so that's that cool so now we know how to create a book cover and we know how to create a 3d mock-up re re rendering of that so now let's i'll share my screen okay. and uh show you guys how to make a, a cool youtube thumbnail so the reason we want to show you youtube thumbnails is because when you're making Type a type a, a me in the chat if you make YouTube videos or you want to make YouTube videos. Type a me in the chat. Chung Su, Casey, Jashvan, B. Okay, okay. So a lot of people are making YouTube videos. Okay, good, good. So what we're going to show you is going to be really helpful because look, if you put a lot of time and effort and energy into making the video, but you don't have a good thumbnail, you're not going to get many clicks. Like it really helps to have a good thumbnail. Like it, it makes all the difference. That's going to determine if people are going to watch it or not. So how do you actually do that? Well, we'll go home to Canva here and we'll just click on uh, create a design and you just type in right here. Oh, you, you can see my screen. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. YouTube and you click YouTube thumbnail. Bam. And now you're, you got a blank slate here. Now it's super easy to make a super cool thumbnail. You can just grab, uh, let's say we want to, you can start with a pre-made template like on here. Like let's say we're going to go with this one, for example. Bam, YouTube video, YouTube thumbnails needs to pop out. They need to be really bright. So this is kind of bright. And the way, the way I like to test to see how bright it is and see how easy things are to read is I like to zoom out. So I hold command on my keyboard, command and, and backspace. And if it pops like at a small distance, I know it's going to pop on YouTube as well. Because up here, you might be like, oh, it looks good. But when you back out, it might be hard to read. It's so like, like DIY with me, right? DIY with me, this right here. You guys can see that now, right? Because we're so zoomed in. But when you zoom out on a thumbnail, you can't really see what that is. So I don't, I think that font's too, too small. Yeah, so, I'm really drawn to the total core workout one, the pink, purple with the yeah, black. Boom, yeah. boom. So now when you, but yeah. even, even these though, uh, these words are a little too small because when you zoom out, let's look at that. I can see total core workout, 20 minutes, but I'd make those bigger. Yeah. Okay, so to make them bigger, you just click on them, drag them, just like we showed earlier, and you can make them uh, pop. You can also move this picture around. Oh, whatever. But either way. And you have we... your own pictures for these, obviously, too. Yeah, of course, of course. Use your own pictures. So something like that okay now but just a quick test zoom out hey it looks much better i can actually see 
what we're going for. But let's start from scratch. Let's pretend we don't have a pre-made template. But if you are using a template, sorry, I'll just show you what you can do. Is you just, if you, uh, you see there right here folders, you want to make sure you have folders full of pictures of yourself. Okay. Type a five in the chat if you're going to take pictures of yourself and I'll upload them to Canva. Type a five in the chat if you're going to get pictures of yourself. Because you need them for something else. Who's going to take pictures of themselves and upload them? Yep, good. Because if you don't have pictures of yourself, good luck making thumbnails. Lisa, how often do you put a picture of yourself on a thumbnail? Every single thumbnail. <laughs> how many? Every single thumbnail. Every single thumbnail. Okay, so if I, if I want to put a thumbnail or picture myself on here, I just drag it and drop it in. And we'll go back to this uh, pre-made thing here. And just put it there. In fact, I'll get rid of this check i'll go like that and i'll go position to back and there i am all in my glory bam okay so canva is really like as you can see pretty easy to to maneuver especially if you're using pre-made pre-made uh thumbnails but let's say you're not using a pre-made one let's say you're starting from scratch okay let's say this is all you got zoom in a bit so what i like to do is i like to have uh, personally, I like to have a picture of myself either on the left or the right. So I'll grab this picture. And I usually don't like pictures with backgrounds. Like this has a background in it. So how do you get rid of the background? Well, you go to effects and you click background remover right there. And you click background remover, it's going to take a second to load. But then the coolest thing happens, it's somehow genius enough to can determine what's grass and what's not, even though it's all black and white, it's still smart enough. And it will get rid of all that grass in the background and just leave me. In fact, that photo looks great. And then you can go to backgrounds over here and you can pick a, a cool background. You can pick like one like this. That already looks like a pretty good thumbnail, doesn't it? Now we'll go to text. Let's grab something really easy to read. Feeling cute. I like that. Might be a little hard to read, but um, let's try it. Let's zoom out. Font color. What's that? Changing the font color helps. Yeah. That's actually not. It's actually not bad. Okay. Um, you see how my arm is cut off? That looks kind of awkward. I don't like that personally. So what you can do if your arm gets cut off like that, because that's just the nature of the, of the photo, right? The original photo just kind of had my arm cut and cut off. So it doesn't look so good though. So what I like to do is go to uh, folders and I just have always have a line on stock, but you can always just grab a line by going to elements and typing in line and you grab a line. But I got this line here. So I'll grab that line. I'll put it right there. It's like a divider. And uh, make it a bit thicker. How do you make it super thick? Just pull and drag. <laughs> well, it's kind of obnoxious, but something like that. You can also use your key, uh, keys on your keyboard, guys, to, to make micro maneuvers. So if I want to mi micro maneuver this word up, I just click up on my keyboard. And you can hardly see it, but see how it moves one at a time? So if you want to make a little micro maneuver, you just, you know, use your keyboard. But uh, there, that's my that's my thumbnail. And you can see from far away, it looks not bad. The black line's a bit obnoxious, though. I'm not a fan. So let's let's get rid of that. It's it really kind of ruins it. That photo's not going to work there, unfortunately. But it could I could easily just flip it, go flip horizontal, bam. And now. It looks a lot better, but still is that, is that line? I'm not a fan. So let's grab this instead and let's just get rid of the background there. And also for your thumbnails, put different text on the thumbnail than your, your title. Make sure your title text and thumbnail text are different, but similar. So if your title is what I ate today on a raw vegan diet, Maybe your title, or your thumbnail says everything 
Oh boy. That word is kind of long. Everything I ate today. Okay? And then uh, let's go ungroup. There. Boom. And then, like Lissa said, you want to embellish it. You go to elements, you type fruit, because we like fruit. Type a five, no, type a type of fruit in the chat if you love fruit. Type a fruit in the chat if you're a big fruit fruit eater. See how many fruit fruities we got. Got some fruits coming in. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, big fruit fam here. What's up, fruit fam? So we got that, and what's one more? Maybe a papaya. Cool. So that's a pretty dope thumbnail. I'd I'd click it. <laughs> I'd click would, it. Would you guys click that? Type a click if you'd click that. <laughs> Click, make it sense to click it. Sweet, everything I ate today. You guys want to know what I ate today? Of course you do. That's why what I ate in a day videos work so well. Cool. <laughs> so there's there's my thumbnail. Uh, now I want to see now who who wants to type. I sorry, who wants to see how Lissa makes her thumbnails? Type a me in the chat if you want to see Lissa how she makes her thumbnails, or if you're satisfied. Oh, you're not satisfied, Lissa. I can't seem to satisfy the audience here tonight. It's gonna be it's gonna be up to you here. I will so start. my. Yeah, mine are very simple. Um, let's share this again. I also want to go through, uh, maybe do a couple extra pages after we're done. Um, but for mine, I actually have one template that I use over and over and over and over and over again. So if you go to my YouTube channel and let's check out the content. As you can see, when it loads. This is the behind the scenes of a multi-million dollar YouTube account, guys. Pay close attention. <laughs> Come on, load up, load up. They're not Just loading. Click on, click on your channel. You can view it from an outsider's perspective, right? And then, bam. All right, so see my videos. Let's go to all the recent ones. Look at that. <laughs> They're all the same. <laughs> Um, they are the same. I use the same central picture and some of the sides because these are part of playlists. But as you can see, when I'm not doing playlists, I, I have a picture of myself and pictures of my food on either side. So that's kind of this one here is Nate and I with our because this was our vacation. Um, but in general, I always have a picture of myself with two complementary pictures on either side. And that's how I do my thumbnails. And then, and then uh, text underneath. Text underneath, yeah. You always do text underneath? Yeah. I always. And this is the same template. So once you find a template that you like, if you're doing it Ted's way, that's cool because you're going to have different ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that. I forgot to mention that. Good point. The template I just created, I can now use that over and over and over again. All I have to do is replace the picture of me and change the text. But I can, when you find a good thumbnail you like, like this is done, then you just use it over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. So, so how we could do that is you go to your designs and say you created already one like Ted or you have one like mine, right? This is, this is mine. So we'll go to that. Now, what I like to do is I like to duplicate it. So this one right here duplicates the page. So it creates a brand new one exactly the same. So you can just do this one and then you would save this specific would be page two. Right when you go to save, download, JPEG or PNG, you can do either or. If you want it to be high quality, you increase the size and then always select the page that you're downloading. Always make sure for that. So what all I, all I do, seriously, this is the easiest thing in the world. I just go to my uploads and I'll select maybe uh, a picture of me. Let's do... No, there's not very many up here because <laughs> I normally do this on my phone, but we'll do this one here. Just drag it over. We'll use this. I just changed the pictures. Let's do, let's do this one. And then I change this text here. Say it's a what I ate in a day.
and change this down here. And then what I like to do is change the fonts again to match the photos. So I have these options. We'll do green and brown. There we go. And then I would just download this one and use that as my video thumbnail. Bam. Who thinks they can make an awesome YouTube thumbnail now? Who's confident? Who's confident? Hands up. Yeah. Okay, sweet. So by now, you guys know how to create an awesome looking ebook and 3D mock up, awesome looking YouTube thumbnail. And on a scale of one to 10, how the 10 being like extraordinarily difficult and one being like ridiculously easy. How hard is it to make what we just showed you? Title, uh, the book cover, and the thumbnail. Because it comes with a lot of ones, ones, ones. Awesome. That's what we like to hear. That's what we like to hear. That's what we like to hear. Even my mom, who's like not even tech savvy at all, I could come on here, show her how to do this, and she'd be good to go as well. So you just got to play around, click around. It's designed to be as easy as possible. Plus, if you guys do need any extra assistance, like I said, Lisa is always here for you every single Monday if you're part of the academy which we'll talk about at the very end if you're interested. But Lisa, how fun is this to play around with this like every Oh day? my gosh, I, I have so much fun with Canva. This is what like one of my favorite things is to create eBooks. And like you can, um, let's see, let's just add some text here. I would have so, preferred if you wrote something like, I think Ted is really, really cool and a great teacher. <laughs> we'll take that. Let's just move this back. Oh, we have to highlight everything. Highlight everything and we'll move it back. There we go. So the first page you could have welcome. Um, again, this is just like really quick. You, you would want to spend uh, more time making it exactly the way you want, but you could have your first page as your cover, second page as a welcome. You could add a disclaimer, which you might want to do. Dedic uh, even, even a dedication? Dedication page, yep. And then you could copy that again and go table of contents. And we'll just put that here. And again, if you want to have it a little bit different, you can move the elements around so that it looks different on every page. Here, and then this one. Now, what I like to say for table of contents, um, smoothies, page three, salads, H6, soups, ah. H9. And so what you want to do with your table of contents is you want to put it in to your book, but you don't want to fill it out until your book is totally finished because you might add a page here and there um, depending on how your book is. I find that I add a lot of pages as I go because I'll be like, oh, I need to put a chapter of that. So I have to write it. So I don't worry about the table of contents until the very end. I do put it in, however, at the beginning, but I don't fill out the numbers until the very, 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 very end. So we've got the table of contents. Then you would want, uh, if you're doing like a recipe book or a uh, maybe like a how-to book, you're going to want pages and chapters of certain things. Like in my recipe books, I like to talk about replacement options for certain ingredients or hard to find ingredients or why vegan, why raw, why choose healthy foods, how to do it with family and friends. Like you can actually have more information in there and especially adding your story is really good to add to my your book. Story. Your book. Add your story. So good. So that's where you would start to do the chapters, chapter one, and then you can move, you can move stuff around. You can change the fonts. You can do whatever you desire. And if you want, you can always add more of your pictures, right? And then just change it up a little bit, however you want, like so. 
Then if you're doing a recipe book, obviously you're going to want to have the title for the recipe. So this one you can say curry stew or something. I'm going to put that way up at the top. And then if you want, it really depends on how you want to do your book. Every, every recipe book is going to be different, but let's say this one takes two hours um, and serves two. Oh so. yeah, let's talk about that for a sec too, because a lot of people might look at a blank page like, and be like, oh my God, what do I actually put on this? Mm -hmm. So in, before you go ahead and start creating from scratch, which you can definitely do, if you get stuck though, just go on Google images, type in recipe book, inspiration or recipe book templates or recipe book examples go on google images and see what comes up and you will come up with so many cool ideas there and don't be afraid of copying anyone or not being like super original there's like billions of ebooks out there i'm sure the one list is created right in front of us someone already has something that looks very similar but let's just create it from thin air but that's just the nature of the internet now there's already so much stuff out there so go on there find your most favorite ones and then create something similar like in terms of the layout, at least. Exactly. How it's laid out, there's no right or wrong. But I mean, there's a right way to spell ingredients, though, and this is definitely not. <laughs> so fast. In ingredients. <laughs> Instructions. <laughs> nice. So then you would have your instructions. And again, play with the fonts because some pages aren't going to have enough space like you could actually move this up here so you just have the picture with the ingredients and then here you could have like step one chop cauliflower step two make sauce and you could also have one page just with the picture and the ingredients maybe and then the next page like a different picture of the same thing but with all the instructions mm -hmm. really yeah. intimate like it's really like full-fledged book about like multiple pages for each recipe if yeah if necessary if you want and the more pictures you have the better obviously um but you can also like ted said go to templates and look for recipe page even and there's like different options of different styles they're not the like the absolute greatest but just to give you a little bit of idea on how you could do yours yeah, but even going to Google Images and just finding yeah. examples there might be good. Recipe page. Yeah, see, like this one here. That's how you can lay it out. Yeah, that's nice. Ingredients, directions, notes, bam. Mm -hmm. And then just, just and create yourself but then also guys just keep a note when you're taking pictures of these like we'll talk about this in another workshop when it comes to pictures but what lissa is really big on is she takes multiple pictures of the same food that way she can use them in different pages of her ebook and different posts on instagram so it's not like you're trying to make one recipe and get one good picture lissa when she makes a recipe she gets like 50 good pictures from it so you can put them all over the place so yeah exactly and i could show that um in my later it's always harder to spell when you're being recorded isn't it <laughs> totally so yes canva saves as you go because it's online so it's pretty cool you don't have to do any saving the only thing that you do is to download it when you're finished but check out these are some examples of how i get a lot of different angles like this was a soup that I did. I got nine pictures of the soup in different angles. This was uh, a Caesar salad that we did. We drizzled it on the romaine and then we put the romaine in a salad. Here's a set. This was for lunch. I have eight pictures from lunch, just changed up differently. And when people were asking about the photos, these are just shot in my kitchen. And I use Lightroom to edit them. I actually think I have the before and after. And you take these pictures on your phone, right? Yeah, I use my phone. So you don't need an expensive camera anymore. You can just use your phone. This one, is that is that your phone or is that a DSLR? This is my phone. No, these were with my phone. 
That's with your phone. Get the f out of here, yeah. guys. Listen, zoom in on that a bit. You're 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 teasing us. Zoom in. Let's get let's get up close and per- oh my god, look at that. And the this difference was edited with Lightroom. That's ridiculous, guys. Type a two in the chat if you want to learn how to edit like that. So type a two in the chat if you want to learn how to make reset from someone else. That's that ridiculous. So good. So good. So we're gonna we're gonna, we're definitely having a workshop on that. We're definitely mm-hmm. having a workshop on that. I need to master food photography like that. That is so good. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but that's that's how we make an ebook, you guys. It's pretty simple. Once you're finished, you would click download and always make sure that you have PDF standard and all pages and then click download and it'll download all of the pages in a PDF. And that's what you would give away as your PDF, whether it's free or paid or what have you, but yeah. And if you're wondering how to actually give it away so that you get paid, Lissa uses Payhip, right, Lissa? Yeah. So if you guys go to payhip.com, you can create a free account. And then when you create your account, it's going to ask you to upload a file that you want to sell. You upload your PDF file and then it gives you a link to share. You share that link and people go there and they buy it. As soon as they buy it, they get an email from PayUp saying, hey, here's the book that you just bought. Boom. It's that simple. It's that simple. Okay. So now I want to show you guys how to create a logo. Yes. Uh, who's, really, who's really official without a logo? I mean, check out our logo. <laughs> I can put it up right now. Woo. Yeah, there's our logo. Well, that's Lisa's version of her logo, of our logo. Yeah, I got my version. Boom. So how do we create a logo? Let's go to Canva. Canva's the best ever. (laughs) Come on, here we go. Okay. And share screen. Cool. So to create a logo, you just go home and you go to create a design and you click logo and ready world's quickest logo. I could literally create a logo with my breath, breath held. Ready? (laughs) (sighs) Done. Done. So good. Look at that. So cool. No, you click that. You guys, you can, whoa, you can make an animated logo? Yes, so. No, it's really like you just start with a a pre made one like this if you want. And let's say, uh, oh, it takes it for you. You don't need to retape it anymore. So let's create one. Let's let's create a company on the spot right now. Let's create one called uh, the Cookie Company. Who likes cookies? Who likes vegan cookies? Type of me if you like vegan cookies. I like vegan cookies. Homemade vegan cookies. Oh my God. Salivating, just thinking about them. So good. Okay, let's create. Listen, you down, you down for the cookie company? Yeah. All right. I'll make raw versions. <laughs> the cookie co? Should we say the cookie co or what should we call it? The vegan cookie co. The vegan cookie co. And then we'll say like by Ted and Lissa. Sure. The vegan cook, the vegan just 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 co or I like co. I like cookie co. The yeah. And then cookie. established in 2021. Down here? No, so we're the 17 and the 38. 20, 20 21. 21. Wow, it's pretty badass. <laughs> Who likes our logo? Who <laughs> likes our logo? I like our logo. I you could we should put a cookie in there though. Yeah, elements and get a cookie. Oh my God, it's going to be so good. Wham, bam. You, you guys, you can, you can, here's the cool part. You hold option, you click on the thing that you want to duplicate and it duplicates it. And we'll go flip. Bam, now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. That looks legit. The vegan is a bit small though, don't you think? Yeah. Let's pump that up a bit. 
There we go. Now we're talking. See, this is how easy it is to do business with Lissa. That's why I love doing business with her. I'm like, Lissa, you like that? She's like, yeah. <laughs> she does something. I'm like, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> but that does look pretty freaking legit. Should we have the dot or no dot? I kind of, I don't know. Let's, let's do no dot. Cookie co. <laughs> the vegan cookie co. Okay. With you guys vote, you guys vote with dot or no dot. With, with dot, dot, I mean, without the dot, it looks like it's missing. Yeah, yeah. Like, we'll do the dot. Smaller yeah. dot, though, they say smaller dot. So we'll make that dot a bit small. Oh, but it makes the whole word smaller. We don't want that. Let's do a smaller dot, though. We'll delete that and we'll just go um, elements and we'll click dot and we'll just grab one of these dots. Even though there's three, watch what you can do. If you don't like what you see, no worries. You just double click on it and you crop it. And you make it smaller. Now, you make a super small dot. And we should bump it up a bit right there. Let's change the color. So it's cream. Bam. <laughs> Look at that. The vegan cookie coat. Oh, uh, Emmanuel, Emmanuel said use the cookie as the dot. Well, that's going to be a small cookie. <laughs> <laughs> there we go screw it okay we'll go there and then we'll flip should we have another cookie here though still yeah i like that you could even change the color of the little dot cookie too to make True. it a little lighter of a cream maybe we can add some like uh it's gonna be hard they've they've, they've got it mastered <laughs> just lighten all of those three there something like something like that oh maybe i can make the opacity a bit smaller maybe oh yeah no gotta gotta be bold okay there we go yeah, I, you can cookies, the colors. he's a little big but that's a good idea there we go i bring it down a bit to the right boom the cookie vegan cookie coat oh my god looks so good now here's what you gotta do when you're creating a logo uh you got to make sure you export it as transparent background. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then once you export as a transparent background, I'll show you what you got to do next. So go here. This is legit AF, by the way. Let's go download and we'll go PNG and we'll make it size mucho, mucho grande, big, big, big size, big size for you. And we'll go transparent background. Okay. PNG, size three, transparent background. Lisa, any final words before we depart? Go. Blast off. <laughs> okay. So now that we've downloaded it, it's not enough because now you got this big upper part and the lower part and it gets in the way. So what you do is you just, if you're on a Mac, you guys can see my screen, by the way? I, I can, can see. The you can see the logo here? Yeah. Okay, good. So you just drag your cursor over it. You size it up so it's nice and toit like a toyger. Okay, there's not much, you have a little bit on the top and bottom so you don't cut anything off, but whatever, that looks good, right? And now you click on this little uh, pencil icon and you click crop. Thank you, Steve Jobs. So now, anywhere you post this, it's gonna look really good. I'll show you an example. So let's go here, let's close that. Let's say I wanna, use this somewhere else and I'm going to use this on a website. Let's say the background is uh, red. Okay. Let's say there's a big banner. It's red. We want to use our logo on there. How do we get a logo? We just drag it and drop it in. Bam. It looks good. Yep. You can resize it. You can put it anywhere. You can make a, uh, an infographic with it on the side. So yeah. cool. Boom. Vegan cookie code. Now here's the other thing too. When you're making logos, make sure it looks good with a, both a black background and a white background. So guess what? This one doesn't look good with black background. You know why? Cause look at that. <laughs> so we got to make a duplicate and we got to make sure it looks good with a black background too. So for that, I'm just going to grab this, change this color to, I don't know, white maybe. Probably not. looks like crap. Can't do that. 
If we change the font to black. Yeah, let's change the font to black. Bam. 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 Look at that. We're in business. We forgot the but, 2021. But maybe, uh, oh, I can't even grab the 2021. Let's go uh, ungroup. Guys, we are in business here. This is, who wants cookies now? This white is a bit too white. Let's make it a bit like um, off white. Let's make it like there. Nice. There we go. Hey. So good. Then you would want to delete this background. Yes. Good call. And, yeah. Good. And then Again, as another wow. exactly the same. Yeah. This is why we pay this with the big box. Otherwise, we'd be exporting this with a big black background, but we can't do that. Delete the background. Looks like crap, I know, but wait. When you go to download it, you go transparent background. You go to just page two. PNG, big sigh, down road, and it goes. And now, wherever you go, drag and drop that in. Bam! Look at that. Now, when you're pitching this to investors, you say, look, we've even thought ahead. We have two logos for the price of one. How much did that cost us? How much money did we just spend on that logo? Zero dollars, maybe $12 if we're paying for premium. Guys, this is how we do it, okay? And more importantly, not how much did it cost, how long did it take? How long did that take? Put, put, put your estimates in the, in the chat. Winner wins a cookie. How long did that just take us to make two logos? Four minutes and 37 seconds. <laughs> eight minutes, five minutes. Yeah, about that. Eight minutes. Seems like it's between eight. So why are you considering paying someone for a logo? It's insane. You, logo designers, I'm sorry, but no offense to any logo designers that are in the chat right now but like you're kind of you're out of business unless you like tell people hey i'll make your canva logo for you and here if you're a logo designer here's what i would do i would say hey i will make you a dope ass logo with a 12 hour turnaround window in fact all of you in the audience right now could now become logo designers and start crushing it on freelance websites saying i'll create a dope ass logo for you in 12 hours or less. And you might say, oh, but I've never created a logo before. No problem, just go on Canva, create a whole bunch. Like we could create another one in like 30 seconds, guys. We can create a whole portfolio to impress our potential customers. Do a uh, search in the elements for like a leaf and do like an eco cleaning one. Yeah, you just go to elements and we'll say, let's change the background so it looks good on white. Like that could be the emblem. And then it's just all about the text at this point. And the text you just, um, Lisa, do you have a favorite text in mind or are we just gonna go shopping here? <laughs> Let's go shopping. Anton's pretty good, but it's so hard. Fonts are like. These fonts may take you a while and it's a skill. Cause like you may think you're being creative but really you're just being like a newbie. Your font needs to like, fit the vibe of the yeah really fit the vibe of the of the element you're using glacial indifference i like too i like the really simple clean fonts yeah like this one let's cause the company's called what eco let's eco go clean eco. yeah and then it's a bit um too basic but bold is too much so what if we did like yeah my... and take away the dash oh you could do eco bold all caps, eco bold and clean, not bold. Yeah, let's try it. Eco clean. Yeah. There we go. Put them together. And you can also go like that if you, I don't know, but, <laughs> and it doesn't need to go on top. It could go right next to each other like that. Yeah. You guys want to see my portfolio of logos? Here's my second one. <laughs> That's pretty legit. It looks good. <laughs> but you could run that for sure. I, I, can you see it on like a side of a bus or something? Yeah. 
totally. Type, type a one if you think that's legit. And that took us how many seconds? Like, guys, come on. I really couldn't end up with, without Lissa, though. I would have been stumped on the font. The font got me. Lissa, Lissa she knew right away. Go I ahead. actually design logos. <laughs> you design logos? You can yeah. separate, if you separate them, it's too much gap there. So yeah. You could even try with clean all caps as well. And it's in too intense. Nice. Yeah, I like it short. What if we do some spacing? Try different things too, because sometimes it looks better certain ways. So it's good to play around and don't feel like I've had a lot, I've done a lot of logo design for a lot of people. And I, when people see the logo, they're like, well, I want this change and this change. It's good to change the logo, like play around with different ways that you can do it. Cause you never know what it's going to look like. But here's the caveat to that. Sure. Play around with it, but also do not spend more than one hour on it. If you spend more than one hour on your logo, you're fired. You can't come <laughs> back to our workshops ever again. There's no reason for more than an hour. Like move on. There's more important things to do. You got eBooks to create. You got eBooks to sell. You got recipes to create. You got photos to take. You got Instagram to grow. You got people to help. You got coaching sessions to show up to. The logo is the last thing. I mean, look what we've, look at our logo. This logo has brought in over like, I don't know, like over $300,000 in the past, uh, less than a year. It's been less than a year. And this logo has brought over 300 grand. Okay. It doesn't, and look how simple it is. How long do you think that took me? That took me literally like freaking 20 minutes. <laughs> it is way too simple of a logo, but it, it, nobody really cares. Nobody really cares. So don't spend more than an hour on it. Okay. Spend more time on your recipe ebook than, than that. Yes, spend um, more time on the content. So we've shown you, okay, now here's the big question. Type in eight, lucky eight, type an eight in the chat if you feel like you can make your own logo. Jung Soo just made a logo while we're watching. <laughs> hey, Jung Soo just made one. Lena just made one. Cool. Yeah, sure. Show us. Show us your logo. Oh, yes, Yelena, show us yours. We've shown you ours. Keep it as a PNG and, and drag it into the chat. What's that? Drag it to the chat? Yeah, if they want to show the logo. Okay, just make sure it's not a virus. <laughs> so, okay, so we've covered logos. We've covered ebooks. We've covered thumbnails. Mm -hmm. Do we're we gonna... want a quick story? Who wants to watch me make a quick story for my stories on Instagram? Stories, make your stories look really good. Ooh, you can show yours and I'll show mine. Cool, you guys want to see it. All right. Let's see it. Uh, the Instagram photo planning website is called later.com. 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 Okay. Oh, Yelena, uh, she's being held back by Zoom. So we're going to have to pull her up. Let's go to. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> we're going to make you a panelist. One sec. Yelena's on deck. Share my screen. Share a screen if you can. Okay, I'm gonna show you two things. I actually upgraded my YouTube banner because earlier today I saw how weak it was. Um... <laughs> Yelena's part of the Academy, by the way. So that's why she's like acting all elite here. Whoa. Okay, look at this banner. Look at that banner. Who likes that banner? Type a me in the chat if you like that damn banner. That banner is so weak. <laughs> good oh like, my god look at the old one <laughs> and look at this new one that's awesome and you used a dazing to get the no i literally went on elements i clicked ipad i got this guy damn perfect <laughs> that is and I, this photo in here i just made it too on canva so look good so, and then this is the logo I made the other day. Veg fit. <laughs> oh, that is cool. To dream body goals, plan to full way. Sick. So, yeah, so I'm using that like for my 
small joes but anyways yeah the thing is the thing is Leland, with your logo though make sure it looks good on white and i don't know if that would look good on white because the gray Ooh. oh is that white like yeah it. yeah that's not bad a little darker gray it's, yeah i would use darker gray yeah and yeah but cool sweet yeah but i just can't believe i made this okay <laughs> good stuff good work love it thanks for having now me it's, now it's our turn to show off again you, 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 you've, okay. had your, you've had your moment of glory, Alina. Our turn. All right. So I let's pretend that I want to um, share a sale that's going on in my stories uh, for my ebooks. So we'll go down here to Instagram stories and I'll go see all. It's so easy. So, so easy. Scroll down to one. I like that um, one. There's the 50% off sale. Let's see, let's see. Sometimes it takes a second to see one that you wanna use. Let's do this one here. And we'll change this. I'll say 40% off all eBooks. That and tape then, thing is dope. Right? Is that an effect on Canva? Cause that would be a nice, oh my God, it's an element. Guys, that's so legit. That's a crazy hack. Well, you would just go to elements and click and search for tape. That's dope. Here, yeah, there's like a bunch of them. And then you make it transparent. Yeah, this one's cool. Wow. Pretty clear, but yeah, that's cool, right? And then you would just go to uploads upload your photo or what have you. Let's do this picture. Ah, I don't really like that one. Let's do this one. I like that better. 40% off all eBooks. And then here I would just go at raw food romance. Link in bio. Yep, you could do link in bio or swipe up. Um, that's, a, that's a story right there. It looks so good on, on iPhone and Android. Let's see if they have a swipe up. Look at that. Look at that. You can, also get an, you can also get an animated one. If you go by filter, search, click the little filter thing and then click animated. Hold on. Filter. They don't have any filter. Oh, animated. Yeah. There and we go. You can, if you can upload a little MP4 to your uh, Instagram and. Let's do this one here. Bam. Now, mind you, you could also just import that picture to Instagram and then go to the Instagram animations, but Canva yeah. has some unique ones that Instagram doesn't. Totally. So if we wanted to, a static one, let's do this. We'll change the color to, we'll do a white here. Nice. Yeah. And Let's see this one. That's Swipe. so legit. The animated, oh. it works in stories, yeah. Yeah, animated, will, because it's saved as a video. So you just upload it as a video in your stories. But I like, Ted, how you said you would just save it and then add your own stickers in stories. Yeah. yeah. But then you would just click download, download as a PNG, big size, download. Um, you don't need to do transparent background because you want the whole thing, but click download and then save it. I like to do these on my phone and then save them, or I'll just design them all on my computer and then save them, like download them on my phone. And then I just upload them to Instagram. Sweet. And then so that's, that's, that's a, that's a great way of just driving way more traffic to your, to your ebook. And if you guys are, if you guys have an ebook, and you want to drive more sales to it, you have to post in your story about your ebook at least once a day, but in addition to a bunch of other stories as well. So that way it's not just spamming. So this is on every day, she averages like at least five to seven stories. One of those stories is about her ebook. Okay? Yeah. So that's- If you guys want to see this in my stories, it'll be in my stories. <laughs> I'm going to download it and post she just it. She's got some work done right in front of us. Yeah. Cool. So I'll show you uh, how I've done this in the past myself. I go to templates 
go home and uh, this one. Bam. So this is supposed to be a picture there, but it's not there. There we go. Bam. So what you can do is just upload these. Super simple stories. I was doing those earlier today too with the really? reminder. Yeah. Yeah. Fix your posture. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm on it. So just, and what's crazy, these are so fast to make that you can literally create 30 of them in less than 15 minutes, like 30 seconds each. Like watch this, I'll create a brand new one from scratch. Now you know what I'm gonna say yet, but I can change that photo out. Let's go to a folder, let's grab a photo of me. Let's grab uh, that one, it's, it's a different one. And cool, position to back, bam. And we'll say, hey, speaking of posture, <laughs> smile more, done. Done, it literally took 30 seconds and I'll just do it again. Next one, can delete this there and it's the same shenanigans bam and then reminder or update um see that text box is in the elements everything that you can add to canva is all in the elements something like that you can change this Boom, move that around, yeah. So that's it, you, get, you can make 30 of these in less than 15 minutes, 30 seconds a piece, just power through them. And then once a day, they'll get uploaded to your Instagram account if you're using later.com. Later.com is how we schedule all our posts. That way we're not on, we don't have to go on Instagram every day to upload new stuff. It will auto update, auto upload new stuff for us. Like when you see new posts coming from me on Instagram, it's not me uploading it, it's this app, this app, I set it and forget it. Okay, we set it at the start of every month. We upload all our posts and then they start getting pumped out. Okay. You can do the same thing on stories, right, Lissa? Yeah, uh, I don't uh, do stories, but you can. I haven't been doing stories in Canva or in later. Um, but when I'm doing my advertising, when I do like a week of kind of like prepared advertising, like say, February 3rd to the 10th, there's like a special on something. Then I will schedule the posts, one to go out every single day. So I'm not like having to make sure that I schedule it in like, oh, I can't forget to post about that sale. Right. It's automatically going out. Right. So this is just like the tip of the iceberg, what we showed you guys for sure. Uh, we're gonna get some Q and A here and show you a bit more. But again, just to remind you, if you guys want Lissa's help, with creating and selling your own ebook. Because one thing to create the ebook is another thing to sell it and sell it successfully. So if you'd like Lisa's help with creating and selling ebooks online, or if you'd like my help with setting up the funnels for it and setting up the website for it, or creating like an online course for it, for, for what you do, then uh, feel free to book a call with us. Lisa and I would be happy to speak with you. You'd either be speaking with us or someone on our team like Lisa's husband or Katie from the UK. And the link to book a call with us to get some more help with this is at coursecreatorcall.com. I'll post a link for it in the chat. And uh, yeah, let's get to the uh, Q&A. Questions in the Q&A. So Georgiana says, when creating course slides, do you recommend doing presentation in Canva entirely or creating template slides in Canva then presenting on Google Docs? Uh, you can present directly from Canva. There's a presentation if you choose the presentation option to for, to create your presentation. Uh, I've done both. Uh, I've presented with Canva as a test in Zoom, and it worked pretty good. And you could do the backgrounds in Canva and then add all of the information in Google Slides. I've done that as well. So both work. Whichever Georgiana, one. she's still here. Okay, cool. So. Here's the cool thing, Georgiana. Well, before I tell you, actually, let me ask you, like, did you care that Lisa and I 
didn't have slides today. <laughs> Did that bother you that there were no slides? Or were you cool with it? No, you were cool with it, right? So that's the light bulb moment I hope you guys all have right now. You don't need slides. You just need to show people what they need to know. If you want to use slides, do it, but you don't need slides. Like we just use zero slides. In fact, listen, and I just taught a brand new version of our course, Course Creator Academy 2.0. Like 20 hours worth of content. 20 hours worth of content. How many slides were there, Lisa? Zero. Zero slides. slides. But, but, but for all the students who attended, like, do you think they, they got something out of it? Oh, yeah. The students loved it because there were no slides. They actually preferred it because there were no slides. So you can do slides if you want, but just know they're not needed. They take a lot of time and your students or your customers probably don't even care if they're there. Now that's I'm not saying never do slides. Slides work great if you're like uh, selling something and you wanna do like a sales presentation, you have slides for your sales presentation. They definitely help with that. Like, like if you're doing a webinar for sure. And that's actually what we recommend. If you have a webinar, we'll show you how to um, make it with slides. But as far as teaching your course, your course should go so in depth that like it goes, it goes beyond slides. That's how deep you want to go. You want to go beyond slides. Okay. Teach stuff that's like so in depth that you slides just don't do the trick. But again, you can have slides if you want. If they make sense for you, sure, go ahead. If you're showing certain diagrams, whatever, sure, use slides. But don't think you need to slave over slides. Did that answer your question, Georgiana, in, in more ways than one? <laughs> okay, good. Wait. Next question. What is the first step you've done to choose ebook pages? Well, we go on Google Images and we type in ebook template or recipe book ideas or recipe book examples, and we just look to see what kind of page we like. From there, once we've chosen the kind of out, outline that we like, the template, we go on Canva. And we just create a blank, blank slate and you can watch the replay of this video. If, yeah. uh, you can actually, you just select create new and you can create custom size or any of the sizes that they have options for and just yeah. click next and, and then you just create new pages as you go. Bingo. That's the first step of finding out like the design that you like. Mm -hmm. uh, next, is it downloadable? How do I make an ebook? That's what Samara is asking. How do I make an ebook that is downloadable to their device through clicking a link or a button? Pay hip. Payhip, if someone buys a book on Payhip, it gets emailed to them. They click a link and they get the book. I can also do it with ClickFunnels and you can do it with so many other platforms. But Payhip is just one example and ClickFunnels is another. Number two question from Smart. How do I make an ebook that I can post somewhere privately that they open and hopefully will view while offline? Well, they can only view it offline if they download it. So just because someone clicks on a link and sees it doesn't mean they're going to download it. They have to actually click download as well. So what you can do is you can just send them, if you want to send them someone privately, you can upload to Google Drive, send them the Google Drive file, and tell them to download it. Okay? So that's how you do that. Number three, how do I make an ebook that I can send someone through email or messenger and they can open download? Again, send them a Google Drive link. And then you're wondering how to make an ebook that's PDF format. Well, you just export as PDF. Okay, just export as PDF. Is it possible to make an ebook without a laptop? Well, we just showed you how to use Canva, and Canva can be accessed on the phone, right, Lisa? Yes. The only problem is on the phone, it's a little bit harder to do because it's so small. Um, and sometimes when you're like moving things, making them bigger, it's glitchy. I highly recommend using a laptop or maybe a, an iPad, something bigger that you can actually move things around with. I've tried making things on the phone and really the only thing I, I like making on the phone are like stories or uh, my YouTube thumbnails because it's just really drag and drop. It's pretty easy, but ebook I would do on the laptop just for easy, but you can do it on your phone. if you're And you don't need to own a laptop to use a laptop. I guarantee you have a friend or family member that has a laptop that will allow you to come over once a week for a couple hours and use it to make your ebook. Another thing too, you can use the library because Canva is online. 
You don't have to download it to the computer. You just go to canva.com. You have an account. So all your stuff is saved in your account, not on the computer. So you could use a computer if you needed that. If they, if, if they let you in. <laughs> if they let you in. Or they don't give you a silly one-hour time limit. Yeah. My, my library gives, us me a, my, gives me a one-hour time limit. It's never good enough. Um, so... Okay. And then Megan Snipes is asking, is the five by eight optimal size for tablet or smartphone viewing? Yeah. Um, really, it doesn't matter. I've made uh, eBooks that are wide. I've made square. It doesn't really matter because it's going to adjust to the size of your phone anyways. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what size you make it. Just nope. whatever size you, you want to. Yeah. It's Ebook. You can do whatever you desire. Uh, B is wondering why does the thumbnail text have to be different than the title? Well, because you're just repeating yourself if you have it the exact same. So if someone reads a title and is interested, and the title says "What I Eat in a Day," and then the thumbnail says like something else that's like um, five thousand calories of vegan food. Right. Then the thumbnail now comp the thumbnail text complements the title. The title just says what I eat in a day. And then the thumbnail says 5,000 calories of vegan food. It's like, Oh my God, he's like bulking or something. He's eating a lot of calories. I don't watch that. But if you have the exact same text, it's kind of redundant. You are literally saying the same thing twice. What, why bother? I like to have it so that if they read the title, but they're still not kind of convinced, then they read the thumbnail text and like, Oh, now I'm convinced. So the thumbnail text or the title text should like tip them over the edge. Okay. Josh Vant, isn't there an automatic way for the table of contents to fill out and automatically change the page numbers like in Word? Not in Canva, no. no Canva gives you... Um, Long to do. I just take a notepad and I write down all the pages and then I just enter them. It's pretty yeah. easy. Is there a good place to get stock photos if you need them? Yeah, I like unsplash.com. Or use the ones in Canva. Or use the ones in Canva, exactly. Unsplash.com. That's unsplash.com or just use ones in Canva. But I highly recommend, highly, 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 highly recommend using your own photos. Always. Oh, for food photos, yeah. yeah. It's always yeah. safest to use your own content whenever possible. For sure. Yep. And then how long does it take to make an average ebook? Well, it depends how ADD you are. Like it depends if you got text going off every five minutes. It depends if you got dogs running around needing to go pee and you got to go for an hour walk or your girlfriend's around or whatever. Like it all depends on, can you sit down and focus? If you sit down and focus, you can probably complete that. If you have all the pictures and all the uh, instructions and recipes already typed out, you could probably put it all together on Canva in like less than two hours. It's just dragging and dropping stuff around. Melissa, would you agree? Yeah, it, it really totally depends. Like my burger book is taking a long time just because I have like, I think there's 140 recipes in there. So I do have to make all of the food and take aside, all aside from making the food, I mean. Yeah. If you have all the photos, it really yeah. should take you more than a day or two. Top, and that's with a hundred freaking recipes. If you have 35 recipes and you have all the photos already done, all the instructions already written out, all you're doing is dragging and dropping, it yeah. should take you no more than two hours. Especially when you get like the, the hardest part is getting the template how you like it. Once the template's how you like it, it's just duplicating and dragging and dropping. Yeah. And what you can do to make sure that every page like looks and feels different is you can create, so you have your title page and that looks a certain way. Then you have your welcome page that looks a certain way. Dedication page, table of contents, sure. And then when it comes to actually like how the recipes look on a page, you can create like three or four different designs of how you want that to look. And you just duplicate all those three or four different designs. And that way, every three or four pages, um, it restarts. It's like the same design over and again, but it never feels like it's the same page because it's- That's exactly what I've been doing with my burger book. Yeah. So that's, that's efficiency. That's how you make sure it doesn't take so freaking long. Also, make sure the font that you're using is clear and legible from the first slide. Because if you use crappy font throughout the whole thing and you show it to someone like, oh, that font sucks, can you change it? You're like, oh my God, if you change it on every single freaking page. Yeah. So make sure your uh, font is nice and clear and legible and just how you like it. 
and get it, get it, get it reviewed by friends or even a coach or something. If you have Lissa on your team, get her to review it before you export it. Cause if you export it and you got to re-export it, it's a pain in the ass. Samara saying, what should be PNG versus PDF? Another version of why PNG is for thumbnails and for images. Yeah. Images, images, and thumbnails. Exactly. Yeah. If you're exporting a single page. Yeah. Yep. And if you're like exporting the part of the ebook that you're going to turn into a 3d cover mock, that's a PNG. But if you're exporting the actual ebook, just do PDF. Yeah. PDF is for multiple pages so people can swipe through multiple pages. Yep. Okay. okay. Logo. Jung Su's got a logo. You want to share your screen list or you want me to? Yeah, I got it up. It looks so cool. Oh, I love it. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> Jung Su's logo. Pain free periods, the easy raw way. There we go. That's amazing. That's really cool. It took three minutes, she said. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. That's super great. Love it. And so B is saying that Lissa's Dips and Dressings book is, is like that, but it's still really pleasant to look at. So that's how it's done. Um, next question. Uh, how to make a swipe up story? You need 10,000 followers to be able to swipe up. So if you don't have 10,000 stories or followers on Instagram, then don't worry about that. Just do a link in bio. Bam. Next question, Lisa, what stops you from running a full website and blog? Uh, I don't feel it's necessary. I, my blog is my Instagram. So every time I have like a post that I want to share, I, I share it on Instagram. So that's kind of my blog site, I guess. Uh, if I want to also, I can take those posts and create emails to send them out as emails instead of a blog. Uh, and I used to have a full website, but I don't anymore. Um, I just found I, I didn't have time to write blog posts. I'd rather write Instagram posts. And I make all of my money off my uh, eBooks via my YouTube channel and my Instagram. Yeah, websites are dead. The only yeah. reason I have a website, the only reason I have a website is if like you want to like come across as more professional or if you do want to blog for some reason, but if your goal is to help people and your goal is to make money, you just need a funnel. Mm -hmm. If your goal and is to help people and make money, what's that? We can help you with your funnels. Oh <laughs> yeah. That's what we do. We, we help vegans set up their funnels. So type of me in the chat. If your goal is to help people and make money, you need me. Me, 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 me. Okay. So if you want help, if you want us to help you help people, like this is what we do for a living, specifically for vegans, we can help you put together a course, an ebook or a coaching program or all three. And we can help you get set up so that you're making money, helping people with something that you're passionate about, helping spread the vegan message, helping people transition to a vegan diet, helping people lose weight, helping people clear their skin, get rid of their periods, Whatever. You just got to go to coursecreatorcall.com. And from there, you can book a call with myself or someone on our team. And uh, we'll get you started in the academy. And you can work with us every single day of the week. Literally, we have calls seven days a week, don't we? Monday to Sunday. We got, we're coming on Zoom, Monday to Sunday. And uh, if you want to find out more information about that, you head over to coursecreatorcall.com and you can find out more about that. So, Let's get into the Q&A again. We've got a couple more questions. Uh, you said once a day a story about your ebook together with other posts during the day. Can you also post more than once a day or would that be too much? You can definitely post more than once a day, but you don't want to be spammy. You mm -hmm. don't want to be spammy. And so an easy way to get around being spammy is to post about your ebook. Let's say you have an ebook and it's like, this is a 40% off. A great way to come across without being spammy is just to add it to the bottom of each of your posts every single time you make a post. And you'll be like, hey, by the way, don't forget 40% off all my ebooks. And you do it at the bottom of all your posts, every single post. That's one way of not coming across as spammy. But the other way 
is to offer something for free, like a, like a free sample recipe book, like three free recipes free, right? Just swipe up or just link in bio. It's free. You can post it with that every single day and it's never spammy because it's free. Who likes free? I love free, right? We're all here in this workshop together because it's free. We're going to sell it later. Sure. But right now it's free and we can promote this all the time because it's free. And it's never spammy to say, hey, come to this free thing, come to this free thing, come to this free thing, come to this free, 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 free. The word free just feels free, doesn't it? It's like, ah, I'm free. It's so nice. So create a freebie, spam the hell out of that. No one's ever going to get annoyed with free. Okay. Those are your two options. Exactly. B says in the chat, Lissa posts like 15 times a day. <laughs> she yep. does. The post, yeah, so it doesn't, she, B says it wasn't spammy. I also didn't notice it until I saw it like the 15th time and ended up buying everything. Bam. So that's classic. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the recipes. Um, but yeah, normally it takes somebody between seven and 30 plus times to see something before they actually buy it. So you're not being spammy because everything on the internet is spammy it, we're, we're bombarded by so much stuff. So don't worry if you think you feel like a broken record, most people aren't seeing it anyways. So just keep, keep posting about it and sharing about it. That's awesome. <laughs> B is saying, will we get access to the recording? Yeah. So the replay for this is 97 bucks, but you guys are all here today. So you got it for free. If you want the replay, it's 97 bucks. Or if you're in the Academy, you get it for free. And uh, Casey is saying how, Casey's posting in the chat saying CCA is the best. Casey, we'll bring you on in a second. You can let us know what you what your thoughts are so far. You just joined about a couple months ago, I think. Uh, oh, Junk said that it changed her life. <laughs> yeah, Junk Sue's Junk Sue's showing up, man. She's getting it done. Uh, Junk Sue's also got a question here. She says, "Can you change the thumbnail or add a thumbnail to YouTube video after uploading the video?" Yes, you can. Super easy. Yeah, you can use. Uh, I have an app that I use. It's called YT Studio. And that's where I upload the yeah. thumbnail in there. So Casey, by the way, Casey, before you say anything, guys, type of me in the chat if you love cinnamon buns. <laughs> type of me if you love raw vegan cinnamon buns. I think they're raw, aren't they? Yes, they are. Who, who loves raw vegan cinnamon buns? Everybody? Woo! They're so good, right? So good. Well, guess what? Casey, she's part of the Academy. Casey, you not only help people get healthier on a raw vegan diet, right? With your eBooks. And I think you're building a course right now, right? Yes. But you also help people enjoy delicious cinnamon buns, right? Yes. Lots and lots of people. We have, we have like 150 to make right now. <laughs> okay. So guys, check this out. Who wants one of these shipped to your house? What's the uh, Instagram? Is that it? Raw dot vegan. Yeah, dot. Dot vegan. Wrong one. One sec. <laughs> Guys, Casey will ship one of these or a big box of them to your house, actually. Look at that. Yes, oh a blueberry flavor. Oh my God. Guys, order them while they're hot. This <laughs> is a, a limited time offer. She'll ship them right to your house. They're freaking delicious and super healthy. And they're raw vegan, right? Yep, 100% raw vegan. Bam, and this is coming from a, uh, a trusted source, so you know it's legit. <laughs> this is freaking delicious. So, Casey, you rock. Uh, what's been your experience like so far in the Academy? I have loved it. I just joined at the beginning of the year, so I've only been in for, you know, a couple of months now. But I've learned so much. I love all of the different, you know, Zoom calls that we have every week. I'm always tuning in on Mondays to talk to Lissa and on Wednesdays to talk to Ted and you get one-on-one -on -one attention and I feel like I've learned so much and I've you know grown my Instagram and I've been able to start selling a lot of my products already and it's been life-changing. Bam you rock. <laughs> hey and uh what, what, what's been your experience like uh today here on this Canva call? Oh, I've loved it. I learned a lot. I feel like I was actually just earlier today looking into upgrading to pro because we're going to start working on like creating a logo and stuff for our cinnamon rolls. And I was like, yep, okay. After today, I'm going to be upgrading and 
getting all that. Now I know how to make the YouTube thumbnails better and my logo, and I'm excited to keep working. Sweet. Well, hey, you rock. And again, you, you show up a lot too. So that's why you're progressing. Uh, wh what advice would you give anyone who's thinking of maybe booking a call with us or joining the Academy? I would say just book your call, you know, get in, you know, talk to whoever you talk to on the phone is going to be great. They'll give you a lot of information. They'll explain, you know, how the whole process works and everything. And just don't, you know, if you have the confidence in yourself to, you know, live this sort of lifestyle then i think you should jump in and commit to it and you'll get a ton out of it if you do bam Yay. casey the academy is a better place with you in it thanks for joining oh thank you so much <laughs> you guys rock oh thank too. you and 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 hey when you start shipping those tin buns to canada i'm the first on your list yep i got you i'll hook you up canada that's what that's why I, i've been egging you on to create an ebook for those who can't get your I know, I know. We're, we're probably going to start working on that soon, too, now that we're coming out with all these different flavors. <laughs> yeah, come on, hook it up. <laughs> so Carol's wondering, how many hours do you spend on your business every week? Great question. It, uh, <laughs> it's going to vary, but ideally, in a perfect world, Carol, in a perfect world, every week, Alexa, what's 24 times 7? 24 times 7 is 168. 168 hours a week would be ideal. <laughs> However, it's more like, I don't know, Alyssa, what'd you say? Maybe like, oh my actual, God. Not, not dinking around, but actual work, 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 work. Maybe three hours a day of like work, 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 work. The rest is kind of like. Yeah, for the basic stuff, I would yeah. say. But the rest would be like extra, like if you're refining your program or you're creating a recipe book or you're doing like some kind of things that need like a lot of your attention. But as for the core stuff, like you said, with no distractions, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about three hours a day. That's what I would spend doing direct messages, doing some Instagram engagement, making my stories, taking photos, that kind of thing. But it really depends on how much time you want to spend with it. So I feel like I spend my whole life on my business because yeah. it's my whole life. It's what I would do in my spare time. If I wasn't doing anything, I would be making eBooks. I would be taking pictures. I would be sharing on Instagram. I'd be doing it anyways. Yeah. So I feel like I, sp I spend a lot of time on it, but that's just, yeah. Me. I mean, did the spending time on your business include like thinking about it when you're dreaming or falling asleep sleep first thing when you wake up, because if it does, then, it is close to 168 hours. Like mm -hmm. we are legit, like obsessed with what we do because look what we get to do. We get to help people like you create epic products and services and make income online from those things. Like that it's, we have the dream job. Mm -hmm. We have a dream job and we have a dream job because we're working with dream clients. Like you guys are the best. Yeah. And, I love what Maria says, spread the vegan message. That is the whole yeah. point. Not only to spread the vegan message, but to get paid for it too. Because yeah. we deserve, each and every single one of you deserves to get paid for the stuff you create. It's you have ridiculous. Lisa yeah. and I have been to so many festivals around the world. We, we've been to uh, the New York Fruit Fest, been to the, uh, I went to the Thai Fruit Fest, I went to the, um, okay. the Denmark Fruit Fest, yep, the UK Fruit Fest, um, we, we even had the Canada Fruit Fest, and on the agenda of all these festivals, except for the Canada Fruit Fest. Canada Fruit Fest is the only exception because I personally made sure that it wasn't going to be like this because uh, it's my freaking festival. But the rest of the festivals, they taught so much about health, which is important, relationships, which is very important, um, yoga, meditation, which is all very important, fitness and flexibility, which is all very important. But there was nowhere on the agenda, nowhere on the schedule where they taught about business. Well, they taught us about what we just taught you right here. Type a me in the chat if you would love to attend a festival where there's a big portion of it also focus on business. Also focus on business. Yeah, exactly, right? Sure, exactly. So if you all want it, why aren't they teaching it? It's like, it feels like a conspiracy, honestly. And think about how many vegans out there who are crushing it online with their own eBooks and courses and coaching programs. There's, there, there's a good amount of them. There's maybe like a uh, hundred or so. Right? There's definitely a good amount. Why are Lissa and I the only ones teaching this? 
I think it's a conspiracy. I'm like, why aren't they all teaching this? It's ridiculous. Because what we all really want is learn how to do this for ourselves. And so here we are teaching it for you guys now here for free. And it's, it's a pleasure. Um, but because we found that there was no one teaching this at all these different festivals, and we saw that most people struggle to afford a ticket to a festival, like you can't even afford a thousand dollar ticket to like a, for a flight and a festival. Something's wrong with the way we're earning income. Turns out, listen, I did the math recently. Turns out the average take home salary after four years of college and university, take a guess. What's the average take home salary after four years of college and university? This is assuming you've already gone to college and university. $200,000 on college. What do you think the annual income is on average? Yeah, about 50K. About 50K. So then we also did the math on what's the average cost of car insurance, on gas, on food, on rent. And we added that up and that came out to about $36,000, but then there's tax on all that income, right? So you add tax on top of that, brings up to like maybe like 40K or something. So really left with $10,000 left over every month, every year. But most people don't save 10 grand a month because they're spending on other little things. So it's like, it's no wonder people are so short on cash. And then we realized that, hey, well, we're not short on cash. What are we doing differently? And we're like, oh, we're not working a nine to five, right? We're, we're, we're building our own thing online. And even if we were working nine to fives, we'd still be doing this on the side to make extra money, right? Nothing wrong with nine to five, but if you want extra money, you've got to do something like this. You got to sell what's in here. How, like type of me, if it would be amazing to make full-time income or at least a big time income with what's in here, just sharing what's already in here. Yeah. And so what we just showed you is like the first step in actually making that happen. Or at least it's the first step in like putting it out in a beautiful way. Because really the first step is like deciding that you're going to do it. That's the first step, deciding that you're going to do it. Once you make that decision, universe conspires in your favor to make sure it happens. It lines up things for you like, you know, a, a Canva workshop like this. You guys are obviously here for a reason, right? So... With that said, we, again, we saw people at these festivals that weren't making much money. We're like, you know what? Let's just, let's just teach this stuff to all these vegans. And so I called up Lissa and I was like, Lissa, you want to host a retreat where we teach people not only like uh, how, to, how to eat raw foods, but also teach them how to like turn their passion for raw foods and raw veganism into like a business? And she's like, yeah, let's do it. So last February, we hosted something called, what was it called? Oh, yeah. The, the, healthy, the, health, wealthy retreat. the healthy, wealthy vegan retreat. It was such a fun retreat. Couldn't host it again this year due to you know what, but yeah, it was awesome. we got another one. <laughs> and then and then from there, you know, we turned it into an online program, and that's what we have now. We have a year-round online program for you guys that uh, that we work on this stuff with you guys all the time. So if you're interested in like in joining, like I said, uh, Lisa just posted the link there at coursecreatorcall.com, and uh, when you're there, you'll just fill out an application, and if you're a good fit, we'll get on a call. And uh, we'll see you in the program. Do you have any last questions for us? You can post them in the Q and A. Can we do key takeaways, Ted? Oh yeah, please. Uh, I want to hear key takeaways. That's my all favorite right, all right. part of any class. <laughs> all right. So you have five seconds left to submit a question. After that, we'll go into key takeaways. We want we want to hear your big light bulb moment, your big light bulb ideas that you got from today. So five, four, three, two, one. No more questions. Okay. Key takeaways. Post them in the chat. Post them in the chat. What was your biggest aha moment or something that really stood out? Uh, something that is changing your mindset, maybe? Post in the chat. I want to know. <laughs> Mine, Lissa, was the reminder that we don't need slides. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. It's a huge one. Mm-hmm. Canvas super easy to use. I can do this, Terry said. Yeah, Terry, you can do this. Absolutely. How to save the logo with transparent background. That's huge. Thumbnail gains, no website needed. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So 34 people are watching this live. How many key takeaways are we going to get? 34? <laughs> I like Talks. seeing you guys making the things. I loved it. That's fun. <laughs> The reminder, slides don't need a visualization. Yes, just needed the practical info on how to make downloadable view ebook. Perfect, thank you, awesome. Cropping three circles into one, uh, nice. Yeah, I do that a lot with things. Like 
if there's like a part of a leaf that I want or part of like a image that I want, I just crop it and get rid of the rest. Yeah. The info is simple and inspirational. Thank you. Hey, Jennifer, you're welcome. Adazing.com. Nice. Ted's Canada shirt. <laughs> what shirt? From your picture. Oh, nice. Canada Vegan Fest. Yeah. Always use your own photos. Yep. Cool. And oh, guys, I didn't show you this part. Oh, my God. Is it okay if we maybe over deliver just a little bit tonight? <laughs> Is it okay if we over deliver just a little bit? Is it okay if we go like another maybe five minutes? <laughs> Let's yeah. do it. You guys cool with that? Okay. Well, what we're going to show you right here is the rapid fire thumbnail accelerator. Woo. Should we teach this list or is this proprietary? Oh, we can teach it. Yay. We can, we can teach it. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll at least we'll at least show you the brief overview of it so you can go ahead and do it on your own. But if you want help with this, book a Dan call and we'll do it with you. We'll literally do it with you on a Monday. Like, like tomorrow, listen and I, we can like do it with you. Like we'll take out our phones and we'll do it all with you step by step. Okay. But we'll show you the general overview of it so you can get the idea. And if you want to do it on your own, go for it. If you want help, coursecreatorcall.com. Let's get into it. So what I'm going to show you how to do is how to, I'll show you a great example of what the end product's gonna look like. So take a look at this guy's Instagram, for example, or sorry, his YouTube page. Notice, tell me what you notice about his thumbnails. What do you guys notice about his thumbnails? I can't scroll down, wait, come on. What do you notice about his thumbnails? Type in the chat. What do you guys notice? I'll give you a hint. Look at, look at the middle two. Oops, crap, no. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Look at, look at, look at Amazon announces devastating updates and these mistakes can crush new affiliate marketers. What do you notice about them? Because you're using the photos. You're using photos, right? And, and he's using photos of himself in every single freaking thumbnail. Why? Because it works. So you might think, well, how do I get a new photo of myself like that every time? Or how do I, you know, duplicate photos like that? And how do I create awesome photos like that. It's pretty cool how you do it. Check it out. So step one is you download an app called Photo Timer Plus, Lissa? Uh, yes. Photo Timer Plus on iPhone. And I can't remember what it was called on yours. On mine, the app is so geniusly named. It's called Camera with Timer and Voice. That's what the app is called. Yeah, I'll show you a picture of mine too. It's, it's a blue camera with three, two, one. I would show you. I would show you my mine too, but my background's kind of inappropriate. So let's just make sure you don't see my background, and I'll show you what it looks like. But this app is legit. <laughs> I you saw that. Okay, so this is the delay. This is how many seconds you want to have in between each photo. Say we want seven seconds in between and say we want to do, I don't know. You can pick up to 50 photos. So you can do 50 photos. And then what you do is you say, take photos and then it takes picture. And then you can change, take another picture. And Point and is you take 50 photos all in a row. Bam, 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 right? And you, see, you set it up on a tripod ideally. Set it up on a tripod with a blank background, nothing in the background, because you're gonna cut out anyway. So you take 50 photos of yourself, okay? Then what? Well, now you got 50 photos and you might be thinking, oh, I'll put them into Canva and I'll remove the background. No, that would take way too long because you have to do one at a time. I mean, you could do that, but it would take one, you'd do one at a time. So instead what you do, is you go to this website and with all your photos, you, you upload them all to Google Drive, for example, get them on your computer. Do what you gotta do, get, them, get the photos from your phone onto your computer. Then you go to this site, clickmagic.com. You go to pricing and you sign up for standard. You pay $8 for one month and then you use the 100 credits up in the month and you quit, you stop using. You don't stay subscribed to this all the time because you only need to do this once. So it's an $8 trick. You pay eight bucks and then you go to bulk and then you drag and drop all your images here. 
Once you drag and drop all the images there, it will automatically cut out all the backdrops for you. This is an example we did yesterday with, with uh, oh, can't see the example right now, but yeah, there's a bunch of examples we've done in the past. So once you, once it, you up, bulk upload them all there, then you go to Canva and you create a folder, all my folders, and you just drag and drop them in here. And look at this. So now, every time I wanna make an awesome thumbnail, I can just go to all my designs and I can go to this one, I start from scratch. I go to folders, I grab this one, another Canada shirt. <laughs> and it put me off to the left, put a background, make it green. And we say, how to make a thumbnail, bam. And now every time you go to make a, 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 a new video, if you're happy with that thumbnail, let's say that is a gorgeous thumbnail. Let's say I spent an actual five minutes on it, make it good. You just duplicate it, maybe change the color. And then you just swap that photo with a different photo. Okay. And you say, uh, rapid fire thumbnail accelerator. Bam. And I just made two thumbnails in the span of a minute. You do it again. All right. And make sure you have different shirts. But Lisa and I, we took all these pictures in like 10 minutes, right, Lisa? Yeah. And we used like just a white wall in the bathroom at the retreat house. Or just like bam, 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 bam. All different kinds of emotions and ideas yeah. head all over the place. <laughs> Yeah, and also make sure you, you do like the countdown too. So you show like numbers nine, you show number, uh, whatever that is, I can't count my fingers, number six. So if you yeah. had like top six favorite fruits, top four yeah. favorite recipes. Top two, and then number one, whatever. I've used this one a lot. It points to the, uh, points to the title. Okay, but make sure you, 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 uh, you have different shirts going on, but then bet like clipping magic does, does it all for you. And it's like, takes like two seconds. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. Now that hack, who thinks that hack is something that they're going to use to have thumbnails for life, baby thumbnails <laughs> for life. So fun. Plus, if you have like a uh, long hair, like my hair was as long as Lissa's yesterday and then I cut it. So I could do a photo shoot like that, right? With my long hair and then I shave it and then now I do another photo shoot, <laughs> right? And so I have now completely different thumbnails. Plus I could do one with no hair and one with a beanie and then one with my hood up. So you just get creative and you do a whole bunch. But the point is, the background doesn't matter. In fact, you want the background to be empty. You want there to be like nothing in the background, just a complete white wall. Cause clipping magic, it works best when it's just a white wall with good lighting, white wall, good lighting. What are the two ingredients? Type in the chat, give you hints. One starts with W and the other one starts with G. White wall, good lighting. White wall, good lighting. If you can't get white wall, at least get like a soft wall, like a beige or something, okay? White wall, good lighting, WWGL. It's a new abbreviation, add it to the list. Yep, and all you need is your phone. Yeah. You don't need no camera, any of that. Yeah, or if you don't wanna use the app we just showed you, uh, you can always just get your mom or your dad or your dog to take a picture of you like every time you change bulbs. Next, 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 next. Uh, but again, we can't stress enough, good lighting and white wall. When we took all those pictures of me, that was like our third room that we tried to get photos in. We're like, no, not here, not here. We found the one and we're like, oh yeah, this is it. And then we took a bunch. In fact, I'll show you the raw versions so you know that we're legit. And then it's actually um, go like this and we'll go like that and we'll go retreat thumbnails. You guys are gonna see pictures that have never been before released by Lisa. <laughs> no, Ted, you, you promised you're not gonna show these pictures. 
<laughs> totally, completely unedited. Here we go. Lisa, as you've never seen her. Ah! Uh <laughs> okay. So then we, we just did that for fun, but she could definitely use that. And then we got Nate. By I need you share that folder with me. Look at Nate. His hair. If, if you guys book a call, you might be lucky enough to speak with this guy. <laughs> don't, don't be scared though. He's real nice. <laughs> Too funny. Okay. Cool. So let's go share. This I swear I've already shared this with you. Oh, maybe you have, but let's maybe not. Uh where do I share it? I don't know. Oh, it's not even on my show file location. Share. That was weird. Weird. Uh, looks like I shared it with you. Yep. Oh, cool. Now you all have her personal email. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. You have it. Just check your shared folder. But yeah, you just drag and drop all those into Clipping Magic. It takes them all, put them on Canva in a folder, and you're good. Okay. So... That's that. That's pretty much it. We're kind of uh, out of time for today, but far from out of ideas. We'd love to see you guys crush it. And uh, if you want help, like I said, just book a call at coursecreatorcall.com. Even, uh, even if you think like you're not good enough yet, or even if you think you're not sure what to offer yet, book the call anyway, and we can brainstorm some of that stuff with you on the call. Okay. Coursecreatorcall.com. Again, even if you're like, oh, I'm not sure what I would offer yet, or I don't think anyone would buy from me. I don't have any followers. That's why people like Casey joined. That's why people like Yelena joined. That's why people like Hannah joined. That's why people like Jung Soo joined. Jung yeah. Soo was on the call and she's like, I don't have any followers. I'm like, perfect. <laughs> she's like, I don't know what I would offer. I was like, perfect. So we're going to come up with what to offer and we're going to help you build those followers. And she's like, oh, okay, I'm in. So now she's in and now she's here with us. So same goes for pretty much every single person that joined. When they're on the call, they're like, well, I'm not really sure what to offer. I don't have any followers. And we're like, perfect. That's why we're in existence. That's why we're here. Because no one else is working with others to make this happen. So we're here for you. And uh, we want to see you guys succeed big time. So go ahead, book a call. And uh, we will speak with you soon. Uh, Jung Su saying the advantage of Clip Magic is that you can do several at once. Yeah. Yeah, you can always just remove one at a time in Canva, but Clipping Magic, you can do bulk. You can upload like 100 at a time. And it costs eight bucks. So that's that. All right. Peace out. Much love. Thanks Adios. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, before we leave, before we leave, while we all have you captive, post in the chat what other workshop you'd like us to do. Ooh. Now that we've done this, what else do you want to do? I know we're, we want to do a photo one, how to take awesome photos and how to edit those photos. What else? Someone said how to do like iMovie or something, but I mean, that might be something. Uh, any, any other ideas for what you want us to do? Online present, how to talk on camera. Talk on camera, time management inspiration. Ooh, we're good at that. Mm, we're very good at that. Choosing what to leave in your video. <laughs> Yelena, I get so much gold from CCA. I don't know what I need. <laughs> yeah, CCA gets these replays obviously for free. Uh, you could do a whole uh, class on how to use later. Yeah, later, schedule. how to schedule posts. Would you guys want that? Would you guys want to know how to schedule an entire year's worth of posts in like a month? Spend a month and then you're done for the year. How sick would that be if you guys could come up with enough content on YouTube and Instagram in a month and have it uploaded, ready to go for a year. How epic would that be? Maybe we can show them how to do that, how to binge create entire years with the content in 30 days. Ooh, oh, oh. that might be one, but we might have to charge for that one. You might have to, if it's free, you guys will know if it's charged. I mean, it'll be, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. That'd yeah. be sick though. That'd be a big, a big class. That'd be a big class. But if you guys want to do that with us, like mm -hmm. every day in the academy, book a call, coursecreatorcall.com, and uh, maybe see you in there.
create, create some content together. But yeah, that's, that's the jam right there. Binge creating a year's worth of content in 30 days, have it all set to go. That way you don't have to focus on creating new content all the freaking time. It's so draining. You just focus on being yourself and creating, having fun. Cool. All right. Well, peace out. Much love. Adios. Bye, y'all. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. You guys rock. Add me on Instagram, by the way. I know you all came from Lissa. I'm going to do a shameless plug here. And add me on Instagram. <laughs> wow, I think I got two people. Lissa got like 40 people here. Aw. Uh, Jungsoo came through, Ted. <laughs> yeah, uh, you guys are awesome. Thanks so yeah. much for joining us. Ciao. Bye. I'm going to go to the sauna. Ooh, I'm going to eat some. Sweat. <laughs> yeah, are you gonna take pictures of your raw food? Of course. Heck yeah, every day. <laughs> All right. The cool thing about having a business like this is that Lissa just has to eat food and take a picture of it, and like that's her business. Like the ebook. Once the ebooks are done, you don't keep creating new ebooks every day. You build the ebook once, you're done. And now Lissa just, oh, I gotta eat. I'll take a picture. Boom. There's a sale. Take a picture. Boom. There's a sale. Every picture she takes is a sale, you guys. Oh my god! And her ebooks oh, are very cool. Yeah. Jung Sue, do you ever have a meal without taking photos? Yes, yes. Sometimes I don't want to, so I don't. <laughs> but I do take photos of pretty much everything that I eat. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for now. Adios. Much love. Peace. 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 Bye.